Uh, welcome back to the Real Mills Pod. Welcome back, people. Another week, another set of news, another set of fights. Hey, let's start off. Where are we starting local? Should we start local? Or you want to start across the seas? Which way no, let's, let's, you get, let's jump to Tank, man. You want to yeah. jump straight into yeah. Tank? Yeah. So, Javonte Tank Davis, mm-hmm. now 30 and 0, with My 28 God. KOs. Jeez. Yeah. Frank Martin box exactly how I predicted he would. Yeah. Quick hands, on the move. Mm-hmm. I did fall asleep in round four, I ain't even gonna cap. It was a long day. It was a long day still. Was that so hurst? Flew yard, copped it on on the prime. And then I knew, bro, I knew if I can hold off until if I can stay awake till round eight, nine. I'll see what I want to see, but round four, come to that. <laughs> fighting it. <laughs> I, I, I was, win that battle, boy. I was fighting. They were fighting. I was fighting something else. Yeah, I had Sleep. A nap. I had a nap beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I woke up. Bro. The bell. So I'm, I'm watching the fight. You know what? First of all, Coleman, Benavides. It was good to see Benavides in a fight like that. I watched yeah. that. I saw that. Yeah. Um, Vlodzczyk had a good game plan, but he weren't putting no... Oomph in the in the oh. bangs, old school, innit, man? Like, yeah, old he's, he's, he's had better days. Like it's Benavidez won that fight of sheer intent. Yeah, yeah, it was. Intent. You know what I mean? Yeah. The punches that Vlodzic Vlod- was putting together, if they were put together with the intensity intent, of Benavidez, yeah. we would have seen a different fight. Of course, of course. But the the force and the eye catching attacks and the and the pressure. Benavides comes out the clear winner, but yeah. shout out to Vlutschek though. No, he did. He did put up a fight. Yeah, like oh, he yeah. he put himself in a place now where no one's gonna choose to fight you. Yeah, even I, though you yeah. didn't win, you know what I mean. I I thought it was gonna it was gonna be a bit easier for Benavides. Yeah, but I thought it was gonna be a bit easier from weight class. And he came in with a plan. The weight bullying is not not working. No, he's gonna have yeah. to. He, listen, he done what he done to win, and we know that's what Benavidez does. Of course, that's how he fights. But he's in a sticky position now. What does he do? Does he go back one sixty eight? Ten days to decide. Yeah, ten days. It's a lot of pressure, man. That's a lot of pressure. Lot you of pressure. can't even have a victory parade. Yeah, because you're trying to think about what am I doing next? Yeah. If I was him, the thing is, they're saying he's got ten days to decide, and there's no the option of Canelo's not there. Oh, the option of Canelo's not there? If he decides to go back down. Oh, I thought it was there. I thought no, that was guaranteed. He was saying on a podcast okay. um, that they've given me 10 days to decide what weight I want to reside at. Yeah. And they haven't promised the Canelo fight if I do go back to 168. But the Bibble fight or Better Beer fight is potentially there. That would potentially be there. But he's still got to fight someone else beforehand. And then man still have to fight. Yeah. And then them man might have a rematch. rematch. Yeah. So he's in a sticky position yeah. based off boxing politics. Mm. It shows that you can tick every box. He's the youngest super middleweight champion in history. 21 years yeah. old. 20, 21 years old, yeah? He's undefeated. He's exciting. He, he, he bangs man up. But now he's stuck. Yeah. Too good for your own good. That's where this saying comes in. Too good for your own good? Because what, do you, what yeah, would you, what you even you, tell me to do? Yeah. It's, it's t- bro, it's a waiting game regardless. Whatever direction, whatever route you take, you're going to have to wait. You can't a keep light going. heavyweight, you're just waiting around. Yeah. What? Who's he going to fight? A light heavyweight. He's not going to fight the yards, the Buatsis, nah, Callum Smith. I can't see that. That's not going to happen. Why? Because why, unless, innit? Unless he gets taken under Brother Turkey's wing, boy. I feel like Brother Turkey wants him. Yeah, he does. He I does. feel like he wants him under mm. the wing, but at the same time, there's still powers at me. Of course. Um, yeah. And you're talking about the king of Mexico. Of course. He's the, yeah, and and yeah. the pay per view man of boxing. Yeah. So you're you're not getting that guy down. Floyd was that guy. Yeah. Floyd was that guy. You're he not was. getting him down. Yeah. Whatever we whatever he said works, it worked. Like, all on his terms. It's on his it's terms. All on Canelo's terms. Canelo's hogging up the space. Yeah. So really, how old is Canelo now? 31, 32, 30, 33. Three. He must be like yeah, 32, 33. 33, yeah, 32, 33. Just mm. click, just which is not an age to retire like that, like that. But but based on his yeah, career, probably, yeah, and being pro from fifteen, it's time, bro, to just let man come true. But Gilly said something when Benavides was on million dollars worth of game, which is like the, basically the point. Who's really who's ready to give up being the king? 
There's a respect that Canelo will get in Mexico. The fact he's in that position, who's trying to give up King yeah. position? No one, man. No one. It's more than boxing, that fact. Yes. It's about status in your country. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? What, like, what other Mexicans going to come through? Right now, like, if you're... No one, bro. No one, isn't it? No one. No one. No one, bro. There isn't anyone there isn't. that's... Yeah, and, right and, now. And Canelo's a Mexico, Mexican, Mexican. Mexican, yeah, yeah, not no American. So Mexican. that's the thing as well. Mexican, Mexican. So when the torch passes to Benavides, it's not passing pure like Chavez, not, yeah. passing pure like Canelo. Yeah, it's passing over now to be, you know. Mm -hmm. So now it's American thing. It's an American yeah. Mexican thing, but. Benavides is trying to say, listen, bro, Phoenix, Arizona is like Mexico, but it, is. it isn't Mexico. It's, <laughs> so not, it's, not, it's not the it. motherland, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's not the motherland. It's like saying Brixton's like Yard. Like, yeah, it's nah. like Jamaica. Yeah. It's not. I hear you, but, but it's, it's still not. not. Yeah, it's not. And that's how they're looking at it. It's like, it's not, man. Fort Lauderdale isn't Jamaica. You know? <laughs> For real, it's true. <laughs> that's true. So, there's more for Canelo to lose than the fight. There and is. for that reason, I don't see when or how that fight happens, bro. Mm. And now, man's gone up to 175. He's become a world champion there, uh, interim, whatever you want to call it. Man's a world champion. And he, he doesn't have nowhere to go. Yeah. It's actually a pickle. Like, thinking hats on for the people at home. Yes. It's Comment tough. what you believe Benavidez should do next. But, I don't know. It's tough because the only thing I can say is that you pray that um, Better Be Ev gets injured again. Yeah. And he can get, be a replacement. Yeah. That's it. And, and, I, and I've realised now, you know, being in this game, it's being in life, but being in this game, yeah, yeah. you you start wanting to prey on people's down. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, man, stay ready, see nothing. Your, your evil eye is real. Yeah, it's true. Evil eye is real yeah. because it's to, it works to your advantage. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna get into that a, bit, uh, a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? My evil eye. But yeah, shout out to Benavides, man. He handled business. He won the fight clearly. I was really impressed by Vlad's checks. Um, Tactics, yeah, and how he navigated the fight, not chilling on the ropes too long, the pivots, the he boxed really yeah, well, boxed, yeah. And I was intrigued watching the fight, even though I know he's losing every round, but he just couldn't put the the, the detonator you know on. I'm it? saying, yeah, what, used, yeah, what we used to see, yeah, him. he, couldn't, he really... couldn't put that in, mm. so it was too tippy tappy. And at the end of the day, that isn't going to get a win over Benavides when he's here dashing with ferociousness, violence. That's what he's on. He's dashing yeah. with violence, but. Let's go into the main now. So, Lee, what was you thinking about the fight? What was you thinking? Tank does what Tank does, man. The same thing all the time. The first say, it's like the first three rounds is, is usually a guaranteed for him yeah, to lose. It's like Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Mm, it's guaranteed for him similar. to lose them rounds. He doesn't really care about them. And he's a man. See, the thing is, he always says, I'm just gathering data. Yeah, but he can say that because he gets the job done, done by KO. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not like I'm guaranteed that I'm winning by points. Yeah, or a split. but they're saying Tank won every round from round four. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'd have to watch the fight back again. I ain't gonna be that guy. Yeah. I have to watch the fight back. My again. eyes were heavy. I know that he didn't win the first three. Yeah, I was awake. Yeah, I was yeah. awake for those, and I was seeing him in his show covering up, mm -hmm. doing what I expected him to do um, against Frank Martin which was let the man's nervous energy and threatened yeah. energy run out. And that's what he done. Frank Martin boxed in a way that we would have prayed being part of Camp Martin that he doesn't do, which is <sighs> out of the way. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> out of the yeah. way. It's 12 rounds. Yeah. It's 12 rounds. I would have said to him, chill. I'm Derek James, I say chill because you're playing into man's hands right now. You know what it is with Tank, man? When he smells fear or blood, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's a wrap for you, man. That's it. It's a wrap. And he and and once he gets in tune with your personality, yeah, yeah. and the build up, yeah, he knows what Frank Martin's on. Yeah, he knows what Frank Martin's on. So he's a, yeah, he's a mastermind, man. Especially with the mind games. Yeah, he's good at the mind games and and the promotion. People don't understand a lot of the mind games is not even done by the individual. Yeah. A lot of the mind games are done by the network, done by the people, yeah, done by, by the, the crowd, scenes, done yeah. by everything. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So when he's looking like the ghost, like he calls himself, 
because he he's struggling to make the weight and he's and then the timing of the weight weigh in changes and all these yeah. things that overrides the camp he needs to move up as well. i don't think he should ever fight at 135 again frank martin yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. i think 140 in it yeah 140 man 140. i'm telling you these, these weight bullies are getting exposed lately man they more are, than ever really. they are they more are. than ever and i think that uh Derek James in his gym, they are known to bow down. They are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Errol's still my guy. I ain't gonna do that over dirty, but he, again, someone who really boiled yeah, down don't ever look good, man. To, to make the way, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. in that Texas heat, them men are losing water. Yeah, yeah, a lot of water they're losing. Frank Martin's a good fighter. I feel like this experience for him will be key, and he could go on to become a world champion. Yeah. Um, or, I don't know. At 140. Wait, what's his age again? Was it 28, 29? 29? Yeah, 29. 29. He has to do it in the next couple of years. Yeah, 140. But 140 is tricky, man. T.O. is up there. For, for taking this opportunity, yeah. he could be blessed. Yeah. To get onto a nicer side of things. You know what I'm saying? Then be yeah. the ultra B side. Like like Mario Barrios. Where, uh, that's a uh, tank for him at 140. And then because he took that risk, or like Isaac Cruz. Yeah. Like there's guys that when you step up, we will we, we, we'll ask you like we, we can help you we can help you navigate the space better so maybe frank martin can do that tank weighing in at 133 shows tells me that really he can't go no higher he can't really man 133 yeah and he didn't look drained no he didn't look drained. And he's doing backflips back come on man yeah. that means he really 140 is at, even that's a stretch that's a stretch that's a stretch and it's not like it's not like it's like people want to force Tank to put on muscle mass. They do. You know what I'm saying? Slow him down and that, you know what I'm saying? For one reason. Defeat. Defeat, yeah. That's it. Yeah. People exactly. want to see him yeah. lose. That's what it boils down to. People want to see him lose, so... It's, uh, you know how this game goes. Hold tight, man. Team Tank, man. Hold tight, Team Coach Tank. Calvin, Calvin yeah. Coach Calvin. All the Baltimore, man. Kenny, them. Yeah. What's it? Uh, Kenny as Kenny, well, yeah, isn't it? Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, man. So yeah, their, their team's good over there, man. They, listen, it's a family. It's a family. It's a family. Yeah. Well, you just see the highlights here, just to refresh the mind on how the fight went. Well, he's fair. He was in. Mm. He was in fair there. And I, I was thinking, Frank, don't do it. Don't run out doing that. <laughs> yeah, that that don't last. See? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, look, look. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like you're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. You're moving like he's cutting you down in round eight. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Not look, 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 look. He bullies people, you know? He bullies so. people. And he's not a weight bully. Yeah. He just, yeah, bullies, yeah, just people bullies people. Because that's how he fights. Yeah, and that's just his personality. Yeah, it's not, he's not yeah. picking on no one. I see that there, he thought, yo. Mm. Look, look, look. Yeah, <laughs> it's on him. Yeah. He's, he said off the line. Again, again. Just in position. Yeah, just there. Look, there. there on and he's just chopping, chopping down. Chopping down. Uh, mm -hmm. And Tank remains. Look at me. He, he don't even know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, he yeah, even, he yeah, knows though like, what's going yeah. on. <laughs> and then boom. As we see the finisher. Jeez. Boom. Yeah, you ain't seen that from me. Oh, that's, a, that's a small man thing. <laughs> that's crazy. You know what it is as well. Because of the the weight cut as well mm. that affects you in the later oh, rounds like that course, this you know is what I'm saying what dehydrated haven't hydrated properly this is what the weight bully man don't understand yeah like, you see man everything mm -hmm. in life yin and yang bro yep. this is what we always say everything mm -hmm. yin and yang so you want to be a weight bully yeah you are going to be bigger yeah. physically than your opponent but what about when you get down the stretch yeah. and what about when you have to force your body to fight at a pace that your body can't fight at because it's yeah. drained. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I think Frank, uh, Frank Martin um, experienced that. But Tank, what's next? The Shakur fight, the Loma fight. Yeah. Bob Arum's talking about the Shakur fight can happen because the people at PBC do business properly. I do business properly. <laughs> okay. So it should be able to run. Yes, yeah, good fight. Mm. And then the rumors of Loma, obviously Bob got Loma as well. Yeah. So really Tank's next big fight is in Bob's territory. Yeah, it it's, is. It's, it's with his fighters. It is. Because you can't wheel up another PBC guy. No, there's no one. There's, there's no, no one. There's he no cleared one. Yeah, there's no one. He cleared he everyone cleared that house. out. He's even gone up away to clear people. Yeah. So, I think now it's really getting Bob on the phone 
Are we making that Shakur fight? Are we making that um, Loma fight? Loma, yeah. Floyd's doing himself dirty in these streets. Floyd's just a bad mind idiot, he's, man. He's really... Sometimes just know when to just ghost. You yeah, he's know? just bad man, man. He's a hater, isn't it? Release the sparring. You see him release the yeah, full sparring. Hater, that man. sparring made Devin look bad, though. That but sparring yeah, made Devin yeah, look bad. Did, 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 but did. Devin was a kid, isn't it? Mm. Like, there's only like man sixteen, bro. It's when true. they were sparring, yeah. what do you expect? Yeah. Like, all the people in the gym, <laughs> gym, the gym was people in the gym. Yeah. The bit that got that. me was when Tank's back was turned and he was hitting him with a Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but Devin's stock is kind of droop right now. Um, Floyd's ruining his legacy, even though he ain't throwing hands. I'm hearing he's gonna fight John Gotti again. Yeah, again he is. Uh, yes. Yo, jeez, mm. <sighs> you shouldn't be doing anything in life. Floyd shouldn't be doing anything in life that makes people forget how great he is as a fighter. And he's doing that. Yeah, that's yes. exactly what he's doing. He's, yeah, he needs to get banished, man. We just should just banish him as a community, man. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of him, man. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of him, man. You can't banish him, man. Yeah, he needs to be banished, man. Oh, man, say, listen, Floyd. Well, you had enough now? Yeah, I've had enough, man. It's, it's, that's yeah, how I feel about Wilder, boy. That's how I was chatting about Wilder. That's how I was chatting about Wilder a couple of weeks ago. I said, he's mm. out my squad. That's yeah. it. At least saying he's out my squad. Because something he helped build. How are you going to hate so heavy? It's red like eye, that? isn't it? Some people just like that, man. Obviously. I see uh, Esso's tweet, shout out to Esso. He <laughs> was spitting facts. Do you see what he said? What did he say? What did he say? He Let's said, um, he said, Floyd is like a mad hater, basically. He's a crazy hater. Yeah. And he said, there's a Floyd in every ends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He said, true. He said, he said there's a Floyd <laughs> in every ends. When he said that, I said, it's true, you know. It's true. I think I did. I like it. Yeah, I did. He said, yeah. Floyd is a special type of hater. What kind of fully decorated millionaire record breaker feels the need to constantly hate on youngers on the come up? There's Floyd Mayweather's in every hood as well. That's true. Facts. That's facts. Facts. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man. Defo, defo, defo. He's been. Mm. Nah. Let's move on to uh, someone who remains part of the squad and I don't think will ever leave the squad. Caleb. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. So, let's see. Caleb on a rant. Going back and forth. Um, does that make you feel the way, man? Ryan talking crazy and all that type of shit or are you just kind of letting it pass? Yeah, I mean, you know, somebody talking is just somebody talking, but, you know, once you start talking about somebody's wife and, you know, things of that matter, you know, it kind of, it makes it a little different. So, um, you know, at the same time, I know he needs a lot of help, and uh, if he keeps it up, I'm sure he'll get the help he's looking for. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot, Caleb. You be out here ready to smack people like it's crazy. You really like that. I mean, I'm not looking to, but, you know, I'm not looking to be uh, bullied either, so I feel like it's my wife. Facts. No, facts. Yeah. Can Caleb's yeah. always yeah. been like that? Come on, my He's stats. Always, always on job. Ten toes down on business. On business. That's how real. Caleb rolls. I can't lie. Yeah. Um, and you can't play. Yeah, you can't play with family. You can't chat no, about man's wife. man's wife. You can't chat yeah, about man's kids. kids. Yeah. You can't do none of that. Yeah. So, Ryan, you know what's funny? We said yeah. I think when we done the um, Devin reaction. Yeah. Episode there. Anyone that believes that my man put this on for promo is an idiot. Yeah, he's a fool. He's a fool. I said this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah we've been saying. We said been that ain't saying. no act. That's not an act. Man. We see mental illness. Yeah, it's not an act. And you only, you can't act mental illness like yeah. that. That's a legit yeah. thing where you're gonna what Kanye you're gonna say, oh I was acting to drop yeah. an album. No bro, yeah. you you ain't right. Enough he's schizophrenic, he's hundred percent bad. Something yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. Something happened and his mind's gone left. Yeah. This ain't no gimmick. That's not a gimmick. It's and the way he's just walking around like he ain't done yeah. nothing, like he ain't a drug cheat. And he likes walking around no in this. <laughs> he likes walking around in this, in these traps. He's mad attire. Barefoot. With yeah, yeah, yeah. So mad attire. <laughs> <laughs> he's not well. The loafers. He's not, he's not well. He's not well. He's, he's not, well. not well. Let's see the video now. Let's see this video. <laughs> Caleb getting that too. Yeah. It's the bear. Kayla's fully on my time, he, but he's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yeah, he just don't play. Mm. And what's Ryan? What, Ryan has no business doing this. He was even piping up to Benavides. See, before the fight. See, he was piping up to Benavides saying I could fight you, and that. Bruh. He's just trying to, he's trying to also fight. He needs to get put on a ban. 
They need to ban him no, ASAP. No, yeah, for real. What even happened with the testing? What was the final verdict? In the system, man, they, I think they, they tested the product as well and there was nothing in the product. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is, but well, yeah, Ryan needs to. So, what, what, what are we saying? This episode is a fluid banish and a Ryan banish. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Get them out of here, man. <laughs> Come say, on, man. Clean up these streets. Yeah. Let's clean up these yeah. streets. Ryan does need to be put on house arrest or something, though. He, he needs does, a tag. He's a young tag. He's a young tag, isn't he? A young tag. 7 till 7. Yeah. That's what he needs. He needs a, <laughs> he needs a tag. <laughs> he needs a 7 till yeah. 7. Yeah, actual tag. Not doorstep curfew either. The yeah, actual, actual ankle tag. Yeah, ankle monitor. Because he, he's not um, behaving right. He's not behaving right. Caleb, hopefully that fight with um, Edgar Belanga oh, yeah, can yeah, happen yeah, because he's yeah. been chatting as yeah, well. Belanga's been chatting the most. But it's always the calm brothers, you know. The calm brothers get started on. Yeah. Because he walks around just doing his thing. Come on, he minds his business. He rolls on his ones more yeah. time. There's no part of Caleb's character that's like, this is why I'm setting it on you. Yeah. That's yeah. just you trying to say, oh yeah, I'm going to pick on him. I'm yeah, on yeah, him. yeah. And you end up getting yourself, even um, Charlie and Charlie slapped in yeah. his face. <laughs> told Caleb A man to slap you is worse than punching you. Oh yeah. To all the young Gs and all the, all the people that's coming up that, that watch us and, you get me, we want to tell you some life advice. If a man slaps you, <laughs> He disrespects you. He don't, he don't respect you at all. Like, if he bangs you in your face, he thought that you was threat enough, mm. he had to up the artillery. For a man to open palm mm, Slap, in your face, backhand or it. even backhand you in your face, yeah, that means there's a lack of respect. Trust me on that one. Mm -hmm. Don't take it any other way. Now, let's go over the Atlantic. Yeah. 